Hi YouTube, Darth here. This is Over Your Shoulder, a series where I spectate unsuspecting victims and give advice and commentary on their play. Today's victim is Gooch, a level 98 player with a good mix of combat experience. With a very healthy KD over 4.0, I suspect this game is going to be a pretty rough time for the enemy. But as with every episode, I'll call out all the good, the bad, and the things I might do differently. So let's take a look over Gooch's shoulder. Oh, <laughs> finally on the ground I see. Uh, M1907 Factory, uh, I usually prefer either the Trench or, uh, the Sweeper version. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yep, pretty typical Medic Fair. I really dislike this map so much. Uh, looks like we are on... What color team are we are? We are red. So red is friendly in spectator mode today, and we walked right into those grenades. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, not if he doesn't pay attention, though. So far, so good by a little bit of luck here. Spawns all the way out inside. Didn't catch that guy to the left and paid righteously. Maybe we get a revive? Probably not. Nope. Looks like we're skipping. Back on board. Probably gonna do a lot of third person shifting up just because of uh, audio bugs driving me crazy in spectator mode. Nothing really going on there. Maybe mashing that Q button, I hope. Remember, red's good. Blue bad. <laughs> Took care of that guy. Looks like he didn't have quite a full bank of health there. One of the big problems I notice players doing is they will frequently run around with no health whatsoever. That guy was just not paying attention whatsoever. Anyway, uh, players will frequently run away, uh, run around without enough health, uh, particularly when uh, it's an easy thing to regenerate by either just waiting or finding a medic. So, if you're pushing an assault with less than, you know, 80 health, you're probably putting yourself at a major disadvantage for whatever upcoming battle you're going to be having here. Uh, we are currently pushing the other team off of Charlie. I just catch one guy there, another guy there, got a little bit of insist. Uh, spawns in the backfield, not sure if that happens for the German side at Charlie. I need to sort of map those out uh, yet, but we can see that there's something going on over here. Uh, this, <laughs> this mortar guy clearly has no fear of being on the minimap. There's another thing that will separate good players from bad ones is that uh, good players will pay attention to the minimap because even though a little bit less appears in Battlefield 1, there's still plenty of information there. Capturing Charlie. It's not looking good for the German team right now. Uh, German teams usually had a bit of an advantage on this map simply because they have better access to the points in the middle uh, just by walking distance. Uh, looks like we see a couple of things here. Got a lot of parachutes coming down, it looks like. It's sort of gliding on the mini-map. I'm not exactly sure what that's coming from because there are no radio beacons in this. I'm guessing that there's just somebody on top of this blimp and he is being a spawn point for his squad mates, which is really a good technique uh, if you can manage to not get caught. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like there's at least two squads worth of Brits here. Uh, nice slide to the <laughs> to the triage there. Got two guys up, in fact. Good play. Let's take a look at the uh, tabletop here. Let's see if I can remember the keybind right off the bat. Nope, that's not it. F1. That's the one. Uh, yeah, it's looking really bad for the Germans right now. Uh, they need to get back in at uh, Echo if they want to get back in this game. Uh, push on those backfield caps. It's really difficult on this map without major transportation or sacrificing a plane to get in those back caps. Uh, the problem this map shares along with Suez, uh, both maps where it's really hard to get a flank off without being caught in the open. And I think part of the reason why the fog is so dense on this map is because DICE recognizes that as a problem. It's usually easier to attack in fog anyways. You're not going to get spotted quite as much uh, if you're making wild maneuvers. And there's just all kinds of shit going on here at this uh, this cap. Uh, probably going to manage to get this here. We're busy choking to death on the sweet, wonderful gas grenade. Let's see if we can get a couple of these throws. Those grenades on both sides. We can see that there's tons here on the minimap, so we can't just go all willy-nilly trying to res everything. Uh, making good use of the information at hand here. Can't quite see much of anything. It's really just chaos right now, so... Uh, oh, I see a... Do I see an enemy down there? I do see an enemy down there. Maybe missed a little bit of heads up there. Particularly that guy. He could have had uh, Gooch no problem. So we pushed him off this point. Uh, as we can see... The Germans are, in fact, capping the back caps there. I don't know if that's going to make a major difference for them yet, though. We're only about 50 points difference so far in this game. And it's really not the flags that are making the difference right now. It's probably the kills. Uh, probably didn't need to spot that enemy. Uh, you spend a little bit of time in that animation when you're spotting. 
So if you can just take the shot, just take the shot. I am guilty of spotting probably more than I need to, but uh, good on Gooch for both getting the headshot and doing the spotting for his team, even if the spotting might not, not be necessary here. Uh, probably a little bit more uh, helpful in hardcore in situations like this, uh, because if your guy still calls out the spot, you can be sure that that is an enemy you're shooting at, uh, just in case the uniform and the helmet wasn't a giveaway. So we are currently pushing all the way to Alpha to try to, I guess, spawn trap them, but we're completely ignoring the fact of what's going on at Delta and Echo. Really all you have the choice of doing uh, right now, though, is uh, keeping up with the team here. Makes good use of that minimap information again. <laughs> gets an easy kill there. That guy didn't even know he was coming. Uh, need to pay better attention on that guy's part to where the damage is coming from. Uh, looks like we're starting to run a little bit low on ammunition here. Still got plenty of rounds in the chamber, or excuse me, rounds in the magazine. Ooh, yeah, yelled at from you, some <laughs> from some terminology, folks. There. Uh, see at least one more on the minimap. Pretty safe there in the corner. I don't think anybody's gonna chuck a grenade by surprise. We know that there's one coming. I'm not actually sure that everything we see here on the minimap is actually on the minimap, because if I remember right, there's still a couple of bugs in spectator mode. It could be that they are actually not spotted. Um, but the ones he goes and beelines directly for, I'm going to assume that he does know that they're there. Yeah, this guy's been spotted way too long. <laughs> I managed to get another couple of shots in there, just barely takes that sniper out. Uh, if that sniper had decided to, you know, um, take a second shot with the secondary or do something more than just standing and hoping that uh, he doesn't get shot at, probably would have killed Gooch. Uh, but so far, doing pretty well in this life. Uh, not sure what we're doing here, though. Uh, maybe a little bit more <laughs> effect could be used later on. You can see the Germans are busy retaking pretty much the entire map after having grabbed the back cap and the center points. Uh, so it's looking kind of bad here for the uh, momentum of the game as far as the Brits are considered. They're still up by about 50 points, though, so not time to panic just yet, but uh, start considering this, <laughs> the state of the map and where you're attacking. I don't have to expend too much effort here to grab this. You can see that enemy there. Kind of late on that one, but managed to pick him up anyways. There's a little cab running around out there. Uh, not too much of a threat as long as you stay inside. And as long as you're smart around cab, they're not terribly much of a threat anyways, but uh, that artillery truck is just laying it down blind and managed to come up with Gooch. So it looks like we were waiting for a vehicle. We're going to do a little uh, artillery truck of our own here. Uh, LMG anti-tank cannon. Yeah, that's the artillery. Uh, emergency repair, da 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 I usually get jump in this vehicle too much, just because, uh, I like the infantry killing power of the light tank just a little bit too much after having tried out that flanker setup some time ago. Uh, but let's see where we take this thing. Uh, the current state of the map, uh, the Brits have gotten back in control of the back caps, and still up in the air on the other one, so, uh, momentum's still in their favor. Uh, based on what happened earlier in the game, I can't imagine that the German team is really that good. Uh, and we'll probably see it stay somewhat close until about the mid-game here. We'll see. Just starting to enter that phase now. There's at least one over here. We can see him now. Kind of missing him. Nope, not paying attention to that at all. Let's take a random shot. Oh, excuse me. Red good, blue bad. Need to remember that. So yeah, uh, nothing over there to protect this thing. I probably would put this closer to infantry, because uh, you never know with that much uh, blue nearby, how many, just how many of them are going to be assault. So you're probably going to end up with uh, three or four grenades getting chucked at you in short order, and that's going to be the lights out for, <laughs> for armored vehicles in this particular situation. Gets a quick shot there on that guy. Uh, not really sure where he is intending on taking this right now. Maybe just off in the boonies. Hope the fog clears. Uh, probably gonna go for a repair. No, nope, guess not. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Getting a little bit of safety. See that spawn for Delta there. A little bit of support here, finally. Probably don't see those, uh blue markers on the minimap right now. Oh, finally catches one of them. And there's the other. Not paying attention. Oh, gets a three for. Not bad. Now, I can see on the minimap that there's stuff down there, but I, I get, I'm guessing that he's just sort of figuring that there is. Because right now all I can see is the dead body on his minimap would be my guess. Unless somebody's flared it up. Again, 
I usually prefer to keep tanks, armor, etc. all near uh, my supporting infantry so I don't have sneaky assaults coming on up. Oop, uh, <laughs> accidentally shoot some tree active armor there. It's always a favorite of mine. Catches that guy. Uh, is that a car or is that an abandoned vehicle? One must wonder. I might be tempted to just try and take it. Either way. Well, as long as it's not a car, that is. So we finally got some infantry support here moving up. Uh, gonna be quite a clash here at Bravo. Probably gonna be the deciding factor is that, uh, the Brits have some armor on their side. Catch one there. Spam that Q button. Gonna come up with something here. See a couple of flashes there. Catches that guy. Could switching it up there. Switch from machine gun to cannon. As long as you stay far enough away from these guys, you are in <laughs> you are in good hands right now. As long as uh, no assaults decide to make themselves useful, and it looks like the enemy team is not very good at taking out armor. As long as you play smart, you can make a pretty big difference. There is a finally a, there's finally a shot that manages to hit him. Uh, it goes a little out of bounds. Looking probably for a safe spot to do some repairs right now. Maybe not too far out of bounds. Now looking to support Echo a little bit while he does it. That's 74. I think, yeah, this d -d 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 emergency repair. So yeah, this does have an emergency repair, so he can uh, sort of boost up his health numbers just a little bit in certain cases. We can see that there's two blues on the minimap, and now one. Uh, we don't know if he can see that, though. Uh, it's certainly possible. Definitely should have been able to see that right there. It doesn't quite come up with the shot, but it does get the uh, enough of an assist to get the uh, friendly finishing blow. So, still in control of four points. It's a little bit of a burn. Looks like Charlie is being taken right now. Uh, if I remember, that's probably the southernmost point there. Uh, or I guess northernmost. Well... Cardinal, cardinal directions in dice games kind of tend to be kind of weird. Anyway, catches this guy napping. Plenty of infantry support here at Delta. Not going to be a problem to just mop up anything that's coming. Right Here's another problem with this map is there really isn't a whole lot of cover to try and get to the center point. So if you have one team really dominating those points, it's difficult to force them off of it. Particularly if they have good armor support, which Gooch is giving right now. Taking a look at the situation with the flags, it looks like we have 4-2 to two right now and about a spread of 100 points. So you can see where this game is slowly going. Uh, a couple of grenades land in there right next to him. Going to find another safe spot again. Foxtrot currently being taken. The speed with which it is being taken tells you that there's at least two enemies there. There may in fact be three or four. So you have to be careful when you approach flags in that situation. If it's really slowly moving, you can just, you can sort of gauge that there's only going to be one enemy there. But if you see that thing moving as fast as F was, you can think that there's at least two, probably three or four there. There might be a whole squad. In fact, there might even be more there. Uh, but right now, the Germans are staging somewhat of a comeback on flags, which is really not going to be of consequence unless they can turn that into kills as well. Or at least hold on to those points <laughs> more than they have in the rest of the game. Apparently only Delta and Echo are in the British hands. Most of the British team is uh, stuck at Delta right now, it looks like. I don't know what's really holding them back, uh, aside from cowardice, of course. We have Gucci's squad pushing up on Charlie here. Maybe they're in communication, maybe not. We can. <laughs> we just got a little bit of a hint of the artillery truck there. Took a big chunk out of it. Uh, another 47%. That thing's going to be gone in one more hit. It uh, looks like his pilot got out, which is really not a smart move. Uh, if somebody was on their game right now, they could probably go and grab that from the enemy team. Uh, when I see enemy tankers or artillery men or whatever you want to call them jump out of their vehicle and I manage to kill them, I make sure to pick up their kit. Because if you pick up their kit you suddenly gain the ability to repair that vehicle and repair that vehicle from the inside. If you've ever just jumped into an empty tank and wondered why you couldn't repair it, it's because you're not playing the pilot class or the driver class or whatever you want to call it. Looking around here, we're just sort of playing standoff while the team tries to take back Charlie. It looks like Foxtrot and Echo are back in British hands, although Echo is still sort of a toss-up. There's probably 
one or two enemies there. <laughs> Gets a number of good kills in while supporting the team here. Still lots of uh, enemies here. Enemies are blue. <laughs> I need to remember that. A little bit strange. I just catch one there. Currently have our repair up that we could do. I might consider doing that right now. Uh, but I think Gooch is heading off to a, a safe space. Oh, nope, he, may, he went and touched the auto repair. Got a good chunk of health back. The yeah, the British team's gonna easily take Echo right back. Uh, what you gotta look out for right now is the respawn. Since they did have the point, you have to sort of keep your mind as to the direction they're gonna be coming from. You don't want to be surprised by a sudden uh, influx of dynamite uh, up your butt. And given that fact, I might actually have turned this the other way, but it's probably okay with that much infantry there. And I say probably okay, because there's a number of times where you can be surprised by enemies within inside of your own team, and that makes for great rage videos for Darth. Taking a look here. See at least one enemy. The fog is clearing, and that is bad news uh, for... The Germans, I'm going to guess. Uh, we've closed the gap a little bit to about seven, 70 points or so. Uh, probably, eh, it still has a chance, Germany still has a chance to win this one. Much like uh, World War One. Maybe not anymore, but uh, catches that guy. There are a lot of spawn points for Delta right behind where he is right now. They mostly spawn in that field out there, so I might actually just sit out there and wait for him. Uh, just so I can clip them off before my team, <laughs> before they go and meet my team. Uh, you can see a number of uh, Brits flanking out there into those fields. But uh, yeah, you can usually clean up pretty easily on this map if you know where the spawn points are. And you can see them sort of appearing out there right now, uh, and getting <laughs> getting cut down a bit. Uh, sits on the point, gives a little bit of hand to his uh, friendlies here. Nah, I don't think he's going to have the angle to take that guy out unless he does something stupid, which the guy did, by the way. Still in that artillery piece. Didn't quite kill him. I am not entirely sure if one shot from the artillery is enough to take out uh, the guy manning the cannon. Usually it is. It's a little bit iffy. It depends on sort of the angle uh, that the cannon is turned. For the most part, I don't try to one-up tanks with artillery pieces unless I think they're really stupid. Uh, currently even split on the map. The Brits are going to take Charlie back pretty pretty easily, it looks like. Still a close game. I think once we hit about 900 tickets, though, on the British side, it's going to be pretty well determined. Uh, <laughs> good choice waiting there for that guy. Uh, Gooch is doing a really good job of spotting enemies. Uh... Constantly pressing that Q button trying to get uh, enemy spotted and even if you don't kill your spotted targets There is a good chance that you are aiding your team in being able to do so uh, I almost always spot enemies particularly if they are far away and I have a close-range weapon uh, You really don't lose anything by spotting too much unless of course like I said earlier you have a rifle or weapon out and you are spotting things at extreme close distance and sort of cutting yourself off from being able to shoot for a short while. Gooch almost died earlier because of that. Uh, this is kind of an okay angle. He's got enough friendlies to his back where I'm not too worried about uh, getting shot up. Although, if I saw those blue enemies on my minimap right now, I would probably worry about uh, getting shot from the side. Although, I don't think he quite saw those. Still a lot going on here, Charlie and Delta. Echo's getting taken again. Uh, so the German team is doing a good job of trying to tickle the back caps, not quite coming up with it. Uh, somehow manages to come up with that vehicle, though it didn't quite look like it on this screen. Uh, it takes out that guy's house. Uh, the art of hiding was not quite with that enemy. And now he's going to come up behind a number of these guys here. Maybe getting a little bit greedy, although it doesn't know quite how many enemies over there. Thankfully, they are not looking at him at all, and he's just going to clean up the entire enemy team back here and make a big opening for his uh, <laughs> for friendlies. Uh, now, that armored train could actually be a problem on this map, given the fact that it covers the entire distance of the map. Sees that guy. Probably going to eat a little bit of that grenade. Eh, only, a, only a touch of it. You really have to sort of have your head on a swivel when you are playing in vehicles like the artillery truck, which sort of has most of its firepower 
pointed forward. Again, vehicles like this are the land ship, uh, <laughs> or if you are really greedy in the heavy tank, uh, you also have to pay attention to what uh, which direction you're facing. Uh, generally, always keeping aware of your surroundings is what separates a great tanker from a mediocre one. You can do okay in a tank if you play safe regardless, um, but the really good tankers are the ones that take advantage of the angles at which they are presented. Uh, not seeing anything right now. <laughs> Shot right in the back with a, an artillery shell. I don't think he's coming home, folks. You can see a couple enemies here on Echo. I don't know if we actually know that they are there. Again, a bit of a neat bug to get fixed. Uh, doesn't quite kill that guy, but we know there are two back there based on how many points we got from it. Probably can't see that guy off in the boonies there. The Brits are doing a pretty good job of holding on to three or four flags at, uh, at any given time, so that's pretty much just going to give them the win in this match. Uh, most of the time, the Germans have not been able to hold the points that they've been taking back here. Uh, and we really haven't seen a whole lot of German armor here, so Gooch has been extraordinarily effective, along with, I think, uh, the other guy in the squad. Uh, who else is in that tank? Let's see here. Well, the other tank is being effective, although I can't quite tell which one uh, is driving that. It does look like somebody else from the squad is at least in that tank, perhaps driving. Maybe they're in communication. I don't know. But they're definitely being more effective than the German armor on this map, uh, despite the fact that the Germans managed to take Delta here. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, thankfully, you got a lot of support, but I'd be really wary about trying to push this a little bit too hard. Uh, then again, the assaults on that team really haven't uh, shown that they're up to the, the snuff of taking out uh, the vehicles on this side. So that train's sort of making a difference right now. Uh, it's over at Charlie. I think they managed to push everything off that side. See at least a couple spawned back here. Maybe a little bit too drive happy right now. Watch out, soldier! So there's something else you sort of have to balance <laughs> with your vehicle is how long do you stay in one spot before all the assaults come looking for you? Uh, it doesn't quite finish off that guy. Looking bad for holding on to this point. I don't know if our instant repair is still up, but uh, we are retreating nonetheless. I think we are beyond the point at which the German team can make a comeback, even holding the majority of the map. Uh, there, unfortunately, Battlefield 1 Conquest generally means that once you're beyond a certain point in a game, it is mathematically uh, impossible to come back without having suddenly half the enemy team die repeatedly. And that's simply based on how fast flags earn uh, points for your team. Uh, and since both teams earn points at the same time from their flags, holding a simple majority no longer has the beneficial effect it did in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, oh, you know, every Battlefield title that ever existed. But, uh, that being said, we're still pretty close in this game, even though we're not really that close, is what I'm trying to convey. Uh, enemy train's probably not going to get killed before the end of this match. Uh, only about a 70 ticket difference right now, but, uh... Unless, again, like, tons and tons, <laughs> tons and tons of Brits die faster than Germans. It's probably not going to make a big difference in this game. Looking around here. I, can we get through this? Oh, we can. Look at that. That's kind of impressive. So, despite having the train, the Germans still haven't been able to keep and hold the majority of the map. Uh, it might even be worth taking that train to Foxtrot at this point, but... It, it, as I was saying earlier, the game's pretty much over. Like, you're going to watch the, those points tick up and the 80 to 70 ticket difference stay pretty much the same the entire time. Now you are in trouble because the train is coming for you. Uh, maybe you can get away in time. Well, maybe the train just doesn't pay attention. Well, based on that bit of information, I kind of feel like the Germans never had a chance of winning this game. Uh, catches one, sort of... <laughs> catches a sniper looking for a kill. Doesn't quite come up with that. Uh, we are just on a murder rampage in this thing, by the way. I think we've done, what, uh, <laughs> almost 50 kills in this thing? So yeah, we're now in the spawn for that point. 
and a drive through the water. Apparently it is fordable, in case you were wondering. Train's about halfway to Fox Drive. Here's the other thing that bothers me about bad train drivers, is that they put it in the middle of nowhere, and the game's over anyway, so it doesn't matter. Gucci did a good job with the artillery truck in particular. Never stayed in one place overly long, and was almost constantly spotting new targets. There were a couple of times where a smarter enemy probably could have put a stop to the run, but that situation never presented itself. In general, if Gooch were to improve anything, I think increased awareness of where spawns occur around the blimp would have helped Gooch rack up a few more kills. Quality play all around, and it's really not surprising given what I've seen Gooch do in rounds I've played before. That's it for this episode of Over Your Shoulder. If you'd like a chance to be featured in a future episode, first you'll need a PC as I can't spectate on consoles. Secondly, toss me a friend invite on Origin, as I'm far more likely to spectate you if I can actually see you playing. If you're new around here, please check out my channel and consider subscribing. Before you go, be sure to force choke that like button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, YouTube.